An Auburn graduate wants to take kids on adventures through her YouTube videos. She combines fun, magic, and education. Joining me live now over Zoom is Sarah Hopkins, also known as Say Hop, the host of Play Hop. Sarah, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thank you so much, Jasmine. I'm so happy to be here. This is so exciting. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came up with this idea. Of course. So I actually used to be a news reporter. So I've been in the television TV hosting gang for a little while. Then I turned to social media, started building an audience there, ended up having a child, saw how he wanted to be entertained. And, uh, you know, a lot of the content on YouTube, I feel like is not as enriching or, you know, as quality as it could be, especially as a supplement to going to school. So I wanted to create something that was really kind of reminiscent of the PBS days to throw it back to the wishbone, Bill Nye, you know, reading Rainbow, stuff like that. And I very much have camp counselor energy. I've always been told that. Um, I don't know if I'm organized enough to be a teacher per se, but I think, you know, introducing children to new topics and teaching kids about stuff is one of the most rewarding things you can do as a human being. So I kind of got an opportunity with an investment and I took that investment, turned around, hired a bunch of people and created a new channel. What's the feedback been like so far and what age range is, are you really targeting? Feedback has been great, especially from teachers that are excited to potentially show it in their classrooms. Um, and the age ranges we're looking for are really in the kindergarten space because I have a lot of friends that are kindergarten teachers so that I gave me some good insight into you know what they're learning and how they're learning. I got to sit in on the classes and see how their little minds worked, especially you know in the classroom. So that was really cool and very, very helpful to the channel. I know a lot of YouTubers that work in the kids space or especially with babies, like teeny tiny babies or maybe two year olds, but I wanted to make something supplemental to school, especially when kids first start school because there's so much to learn and absorb. What's been your favorite part when it comes to creating these videos? Oh, my favorite part, honestly, is my kids saying, can we watch your Say Hop video, Mama? And, and it's like, I'm like, oh, yes, I'll do this forever. I will spend every dime I have, even if no one else watches. So just that is my favorite part. Um, getting to create something that I feel like is worthwhile would probably come in close second. Uh, I feel like I'm putting something out into the world that does good in a way that's, you know, beyond promoting shampoo or teeth whitener which you know is not a bad thing at all as an influencer but i feel like this is more you know what else do you want people to know about you and about your channel i want people to know that they can absolutely subscribe <laughs> if they want to all they've got to do is click that button <laughs> um but i do want people to know that i am totally open and asking for feedback especially from anyone teaching because i want to know how to make better content. That's really all I, I want people to know is, you know, let me know what you think, because I just want to make something good that can be used in the classroom and at home. How many videos would you say you have right now on your channel? Right now, I believe we have four live, four or five. Uh, we have a bunch, you know, on deck, ready to go in the hopper. So I'm very excited. A new one is coming out today at four o'clock. It's about following a recipe and making s'mores, which I feel like is perfect for summertime. And again, give us the name of your channel so people can follow and subscribe. Yes, if you search Say Hop, Play Hop, you should be able to find my videos. I think Maps might be the first one that comes up, which is a social study standard and a lot of fun. All right, Sarah, thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. A lot of good information because a lot of kids are going back to school, kindergartners starting school in the next couple of weeks. So thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. We appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. I really appreciate it.